Business Brain, episode 556 for Casual Friday, June 7th, National Donut Day. It's a week of eating sweets, 2024. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take a couple of ideas, maybe even three, maybe four, who knows? We analyze them, we dissect them, we use them to tune our business brains collectively, yours, mine, his, hers, all of us, so that we can each make sure we keep on living those charmed lives. Here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And here in Northern California, I'm Shannon Jean, and man, I love donuts. Right? But I I try to, well, I do limit myself. I don't eat them that often, but God, they're good. They are so so good. good. (laughs) So good. Yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, I've been to some crazy donut places over over time, and, you know, uh, it's great when you're traveling or doing like that, but that's, but you gotta, gotta be careful. Yeah. I, I generally only eat them when I'm doing something atypical yeah, so that it yeah. doesn't become habitual. <laughs> oh, I yes. like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's I, I noticed the thing I, I talked at the beginning of Wednesday's episode about uh, the phrase, thanks for your patience. Mm-hmm. And I noticed another phrase that has been used on me that I don't know if I'll ever use this on other people, but I, I found it interesting the folks from Grant Cardone's company have yeah. been trying to sell us at Backbeat Media on their sales training, right? Oh. And so I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take a call with you. And so sure. the guy called me and, and uh, actually to set up like our our first little like the, the first sales call. Okay. And then during that, we set up the second sales call. And after we said, all right, we're going to do it, you know, on Friday at 10 a.m. or whatever. Great. They both asked the same question. Is there anything that would cause you not to make that appointment? That's a great, that's for sales meeting. I think that's pretty good. Right. Uh, uh, because it puts it on you. you. The commitment. They're getting they're your commitment. Getting your commitment. Yep. Yeah. I like that. Uh, yep. uh, another one I really like is when you do something, because we believe in the law of reciprocity here. We yes. talk about it all the time. Yep. But one way I, re- I read about, people doing it and i wish i could remember to do it more but i always forget is when they thank someone thanks you for doing something the response is i'm glad to help i know you will do the same for me oh not i'm glad you you would i know you would no right you will i know you will do the same for me and because you're shifting that you know they're they're taking ownership like and of course they will do the same for you, but it's just right. a subtle little reminder that you're placing that word would with will that, okay, great. You know, you're, you're building up your bank, if you will, and you're not doing yes. it. You're not no. doing nice things to build your bank up, but that should no, no. be part of the byproduct but, is that yeah. you want to help each other. Yeah. Uh, so I know you will do the same for me. Love that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Hey, so I went and saw the Rolling Stones last week. At, How was that? At Gillette Stadium. It was fantastic. I, I went into, it, the Stones are my dad's favorite band. And so any opportunity I get to go see the Rolling Stones with him, oh, I will nice. take. Yeah. I So it was a win before the band ever started playing. Got it. Right? Yes. It, you know, for all of those reasons. And we used to joke and say, like, and when I say used to, I mean starting in 1989 when they said it was probably going to be their last tour with Steel Wheels. <laughs> we used to joke and say, well, we should go because this might be the last time they play. Yeah. Now the joke is we should go because it might be the last time we get to go yeah, see them that's play. Funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, but, but then, so, so the bar was set pretty low. I mean, you know, mix almost 81, right? Like wow. I didn't know how they would be yeah, yeah. and it didn't matter. Sure. It, you know, in that sense, we created a good night. We took a limo down cause Gillette oh, stadium sucks to get in and out of. It's mm. just all, it's two hours from us, which is fine, but you spend an hour, yeah. plus, a, like a third hour on both ends, getting into the stadium yeah, and then getting out. Here, it's a disaster. You know, with the, with yeah, the 49ers. Yeah, stadium. right. Yeah, yeah. So we took a limo down, which they upgraded us to a party bus, which was great. There were six of us that went. It was so we had three generations of the family oh, that's there. Wonderful. No, it was it was freaking amazing. Yeah. And then the Stones played, and they were 
outstanding. It oh, might be cool. the best I've ever seen them play. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And I'm picky. Right. Like, you know, like, I, but I was moved to tears at one point. Like, it oh, was really absolutely nice. fantastic. Yeah, they were great. That's cool. They really were. Yeah, yeah. Um, on the way out. Now, again, I want to, I want to set the stage properly here because pretty much everyone is either drives in or is driven in to the stadium. There's tons of parking lots. Public transportation really doesn't touch Gillette Stadium in any okay. meaningful way. So while there might be, I don't know, there might be some world where you could get public transport to, you know, maybe a mile and a half away from there and then walk down, which would still get you out of there way faster than we did. Uh, it, like, it's not how the majority of the people come. I would I would gather that 95% of the people are parking there. Okay. Okay. So we go to the show. Great show. On the way out, we decide, well, we'll we're going to stop and pee. We're in no rush. We're going to be comfortable. We'll get back to the limo. And then our wonderful limo driver, Lisa, is going to uh, take the reins and take us home. Like, it's awesome. like yeah. we're, we're paying her for this, and we're happy to do so. And she's happy to, to be there. So, you know, we took our time. We get out there. And as we're leaving the stadium, I see this truck outside of the stadium. With a line of people, probably 500 people long. Oh, wow. Now, this is a good 30 minutes after the Stones have played their last note. Uh, we walked pretty slowly through the stadium. It turned out that our seats were on the complete opposite side of the stadium from the, the door that we wanted so to leave through to okay. get. So yeah. it was, a, it, and we walked slowly. So, and we stopped to pee. Like there was all of those things. So, Easily 30 minutes after they stopped playing, maybe longer. I should look at the timestamp on the on the picture that I sent you oh, yeah. uh, because it might have even been longer, but at least 30 minutes, 500 people in line. And it's the mobile locker company. Right. And the, what the mobile locker company oh, did for people that horrible. night was, oh, so it, it, well, if you go to their website, you will see uh, a a picture of people going in to like lockers that have little keys that, oh, clear, yeah. you know, On that kind own, of thing like that you see kind of thing. self-service. That's not what was happening at this stones concert. What was happening mm. there was they had a box truck and inside the box truck were just hundreds of hooks. Oh, cheaper and than they, those lockers. Correct. Yeah, it was literally yeah, yeah. A, an empty box truck with nothing but hooks and everybody's purses and backpacks and all of the things that were on the list in the email that everyone got days before they went to the concert and, and then again reads. on the day of yeah. the concert that no one clearly read that were, you know, you can only bring in small bags and you can't bring in all of the things that were hanging in there. And 30 minutes after the show, there was still a line of 500 people getting all their crap that they clearly wow. paid I don't know what they paid for that. Okay. I looked up yeah. some prices uh, for other events. My guess is they paid probably somewhere between ten and twenty dollars a piece mm. to to do their That's stuff. Cool. Now, now they they also I'm sure had to kick some money upstairs to Bob Craft uh, yeah, and, just, and, and the Gillette wondering. Company, right? They yeah. they rented space in the parking lot. Yeah. But I looked on their website. I believe they're a Massachusetts company. They are. Uh, they have a deal with Gillette Stadium to do all Got of the it. events, concerts, oh, yeah. plus all the Patriots and and uh, Revolution games that that happen there. But um, it just amazed me. It's genius, dude. It, well, it's genius because these people saw a problem, and it's a yeah. problem that shouldn't exist. All of these people have cars, certainly well, within a ten minute walk. They're not. Nobody wants to store anything in their car. What? They get broken into, man. I Come guess. to California, dude. Oh, no. They, no like, I don't think that happens at Gillette Stadium. As, Come and, on. I mean, I'm sure it does. But, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but not. A purse these or are, a these know, are people that brought their backpack to the yeah. gate and yeah. didn't want to spend the time to, to, to walk back yes. to their car. That's yep. what they banked on here yep. with the mobile locker company. And clearly, uh, it paid off. Yeah. But they're going to do this for football games. Now, most people who go to football games are going with their season tickets and they show up and they have their routine and yep. they're still going to sell them spots every weekend or every Sunday that they they have a home game. 
in their in their truck, even though these people know darn well what they can and can't bring into the stadium. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just fascinating to me. It I I love it because it's it's a business that solves a problem because we have it here too. Hundred percent. Every yeah. sporting event you go to, there's always people going, "What? I didn't. You can't bring what? You know this I, kind of thing." Over and it slows and down entry everything. and all of that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and so the flip side is, you know, it's it's businesses that are in search of a that are, that, yes. that are a solution sure. in excuse me in search of a problem, which I see that stuff too. Mm-hmm. Um, no, this is it. absolutely it's, a business that. They were probably in line together for a concert, the the, yeah, the founders of this business, and were like, this is dumb. Yes. We can, but but we can make money off of dumb people. Oh, <laughs> like, of course, of course. I mean, that it's it's actually, I, I would argue it's very useful. I'm still oh, it to is. What they charge. But in the sense that when you're stuck there, I mean, you're going to a venue. Uh-oh. Tail, uh, yep. You know, and... Um, Okay, where is this now? I don't see. Oh, here we go. So yeah, I I think it's great. And let me see. Yeah, the Levitate Music Festival is the uh, is the next thing on their event page, and you can pay fifteen bucks a day. It's a three day festival, or yeah. oh, okay. forty dollars for the whole festival. So, I love it. And uh, yeah, what I what I like is I bet you they have adapted to to your point and just said you know what we don't need these big lockers inside these trucks for levitate they do have lockers you are renting a 12 by 12 by 18 for levitate for three days okay or or a day whatever it is i see but for for the stones concert it was a bunch of hooks it was coat check for your bags is really Uh, what it was their only problem that they need to solve is getting people processed faster that's yeah, right. Sounds like yeah. it. Because there may be one or two people in the truck. That was it. There, there were not enough. I yeah. think people had little like bag check claim tickets. Oh, yeah. That's a little archaic. You need some. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I think I, people were paying at the end. I oh, don't know. There was yeah. something. But it was it, there was an inefficiency. Yeah. But inefficiencies, as you and I both know, can be dealt with. Like that's a yeah. solvable problem. Yeah, you could solve that. Yeah. Have you been to an event yet where they require you to lock your phone in the sleeve? I've been uh, to a comedy show where they do comedy that. Comedy show, yeah. yeah. I've, I've said that too. That's another uh, great, what's the name of the company? Another. Oh, terrific, it does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. phone sleeve lock up. Yep. One uh, one thing I will point out as as yonder. much as, what what say that again? Yonder. Is yonder. The, they're, okay. they're kind of the, the ones that started it. So, yeah, 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 okay. Interesting. But um, Gillette Stadium was uh, it, it, driving in and out of there was a disaster, and, and we knew it was going to be. And it's amazing yep. that they have football games there, yep. you know, all year, Same concerts there all year, and they haven't yet solved the problem. They're like, oh, it's going to be bad traffic because it's happening at rush yeah. hour. But then even leaving, there are all sorts of arteries off of the main road there, and they had them all blocked. Oh, and it's like, well. If instead of blocking them, if you sent, I realize they don't want everybody taking these smaller sure. arteries, but they could like intelligently decide, well, we can for every, for every 10 cars, yeah, yeah. we can take two of them and put them here and two of them and put them there. And it would, would free it all up, but they're not doing that. One thing yep. they did right though, was getting into the venue. We walked, there was a, you know, a line of people and we walked through a sensor yeah. About 30 yards before we got to the person that was looking at the screen yeah, yeah. F- based on the sensor. And that person would decide, okay, these two people need to go for further inspection. Everybody else is done. Yeah. The Giants, the yeah, uh, same Giants kind of stadium thing, is imagine. that way now where yeah. you walk up. Super you used to have efficient. to go through the, yeah. the, the bar thing and they would wand you and it big lines. Yep. But now it's like. It, it's way out there and you know they're doing i'm sure some kind of facial thing and oh they're profiling and, and scanning yeah, yeah, yeah. and oh they're all the yeah, things yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but to your point about the parking in and out i mean there are venues here close to us that i just we just won't go to anymore correct because it's you know they you have, you have a concert maybe on a thursday night trying to get there during rush hour is just a disaster you have to yes. leave at like one in the afternoon and then just trying to get out there's like one way out and we won't uh, go to Gillette Stadium. The, like I yeah. said, the oh, they, the only reason we went is because it was the Stones yeah, and yeah, we brought yeah, my yeah. dad. Like yeah, otherwise, we sure. turn down shows at Gillette Stadium all the time. However, 
18 years ago, I got on the Patriots waiting list. Yeah. I'm still on the Patriots waiting list. Really? Despite the fact that Tom Brady no longer yeah. plays for the Patriots and they've had some terrible seasons. Sure. I'm still, they still haven't gotten 18 years wow. deep in the waiting list. Wow. But because of that, I get the opportunity to buy concert tickets oh, there that's early cool. oh. for a lot of shows. That's nice. And, but I don't, you don't get any warning. You just uh. get an email and it's like, okay, wait list season ticket members can buy now. Oh, and if I'm at my desk, I'll go by and I bought like front row for like ACDC oh, and yeah. Kenny Chesney. Nice. And then I, what I do is I immediately put them on StubHub. That's genius, and dude. I've it. made, I, I've made thousands that's from just awesome. doing that. Oh, yeah. That's a great, that's a great side hustle. I, it, I, it's I, fine. I, like if I yeah. have time when the email comes in, it's yeah. like, great. Cause I capitalize on the initial ticket sales fever. Yes. You know, I don't course. hold on to them. It's like yeah. I get them and I yeah. sell them and yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you have interesting, uh, uh, you know, takes on businesses that solve unique problems, we'd love to hear about them. Feedback at businessbrain.show. And have a great weekend, and everybody. And thanks for uh, joining us and listening. And everybody who's watching us on the stream, thank you for hanging out. Yep. Absolutely. Feedback at businessbrain.show. Have a great weekend. Keep living that charmed life. We'll see you next week.